Today, we're using a high banker to extract gold from the dirt. There's so much gold to be discovered here, so let's see if today we get lucky. Good morning and good afternoon, everyone. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Polly. So here's the homemade high banker. It's made out of aluminum, so it's super light. We have a long sluice to recover as much gold as possible. And no, there aren't any legs for this high banker because I don't want to carry the extra weight and I really don't think it's going to make that big of a difference having it completely even. But we do have rocks and logs to improvise with. So the box is adjustable. You can raise this high or low and you can actually add more holes if you really need to. Now you can find nuggets here bigger than the holes you see in this punch plate. So what we'll do after is just detect the tailings just in case. But realistically, we're probably not gonna find any nuggets today, but you never know. Okay. All right, so here's the site that we will be working at. For those of you who like to dig and use a gold pan or shovel, this is the site for you. There's a ton of material to dig. You got boulders, gravel, sand. I don't see much bedrock, but we're not sniping today, so it doesn't matter. The goal here today is to fill this high banker with as much material as possible to hopefully go home with 3,000 ounces. So the claim owner has worked right here before, but I'm just gonna do a quick test pan to see what we're looking at. All right, so one shovel, barely a shovel. So this is all pretty self-explanatory. You just have to test pan different areas to find the most productive one to high bank. This spot wasn't the best, but I'm lazy, so it's good enough. All right, let's have a look, see. Okay. So there appears to be one, two, three, four, about 10 pieces of fly poop. Not bad for a test pan, so let's get the high banker set up and begin. Now, before I could set up the high banker, I had to make a secure settling pond so that the muddy water could be absorbed back into the ground before making its way back into the river. A big rule in BC. For those of you who don't know how a high banker works, it's pretty simple. Water gets sucked in through this hose, goes through the pump, and the pump allows the water to go all the way up to the sluice box, where you shovel dirt into this contraption where the gold and the dirt get separated, go down the sluice box, and at the very end of the day, you pan it out, revealing the 3,000 ounces that you found. So what I just did was clear a path right here from where we'll be digging right to the high banker. That way we're not tripping over those boulders like this guy on the way to the high banker. Because when you're high banking, there's a lot of repetition. So this is the area where we're gonna be digging. It's far enough away from the river and there's a lot of boulders and material, so I think there's potential. Now, of course, there's gonna be more boulders you have to move before you can actually start digging. And if you guys know me, I'm not the biggest fan of digging. Yummy. Okay, so about 12 hours later, we have a nice pile to start with, so let's feed it. So just like the gold dredging videos I've made, there isn't really a lot of opportunity for entertainment. There is just a lot of shoveling and complaining how dirty the dirt is. <laughs> Within the first 12 seconds, I let the claim owner take over because I got distracted trying to make a thumbnail and I noticed a few pieces of metal laying around, which suggests there could be metal around. Hello? But before you know it, I was distracted again and started high banking. Also, please like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more of this stuff. Dirt.
right, so because we ran out of gas, we're just gonna have a quick little break and see how we're looking. <laughs> What's super interesting about this gold claim is that this is a rock. Now, if we're not seeing gold right away in this top riffle, not to worry because we are trying to actually capture it up here. But because the gold here is so fine, we might not be able to see anything. You gotta look really, really close to see if you can see any gold. Yeah, I don't see anything just yet. But for sure, we do have some gold in here. We've got to. These riffles are loaded in black sand. So when there's black sand, that usually means there's going to be black sand around. And it looks like the riffles aren't clogged, so we have really good flow. Now this banker of highness is only a prototype, so we will be fixing out the bugs over time. And my levels of high banking is very not lots. I've only done it once with Brian, once with Dan, and maybe once or twice in Nome, Alaska. But even then, I had no idea what I was doing. Now I need a name for this high banker. So if you have any name ideas, leave a comment below and we might just choose you, Pikachu. So because we actually have a lot of black sand in here, I kind of want to get rid of a little bit of that. But I just tested a spot right here and I found one fly poop. So that means one of two things. Either we are losing gold completely or we're finding so much gold it has nowhere else to go but out of the sluice. So we're gonna use elaborate exclusive technology to raise it about 1.67 Bravo degrees. I appreciate you all cheering me on as I attempt to look like I know what I'm doing. I do feel good that I'm at least putting the dirt in the right place. I must have done maybe eight hectares or four anchors. It's definitely taken me a long time to push this much dirt through, so I hope we at least find two pieces of fly poop. To those of you who can high bank all the time, I don't know how you do it. I'm definitely fit enough to shovel all day, but if there isn't something other than dirt to look at, I feel like I'm going to explode. Check out this new angle you probably haven't seen. Just kidding. I just went into video effects, transform, and then used horizontal flip to trick you guys into thinking it was a different angle. Sorry for being deceptive. We're done digging now, but we're just gonna let the sluice run for a bit to try to get rid of all the extra black sand we have to deal with. All right, now we get to see what we got. I'm guessing at least 3,000 ounces. If we don't have 3,000 ounces, that's the end of our season and uh, we gotta go home. A very important thing, don't lose your wing nuts. Now there's a little piece of gold right there. That's a good sign that there could be gold around. Okay. So I'm gonna clean out the top mat here and we're gonna let the claim owner uh, clean out the bottom half. So hopefully, 3,000 ounces. So a very important thing is you do not wanna get your feet wet. So what I intentionally do is try to stand on a rock so you don't get wet. The most important part of this step is to make sure everything you're dealing with stays in the pan. You don't want the carpet to float away. Hello? Okay. There's still a lot of black sand in here, but I can see gold showing up. So that's a good sign that there could be gold around. Lots of fly poops, but it's really hard to see actually. So lots and lots of fly poops in here. It's really hard to actually clean out because of how much black sand is in there, but uh, the top mat, it's not looking tea bag. So this bottom mat didn't have any gold in it, and I didn't film the reveal because I'm a professional and I was distracted. So after cleaning the mats, there's still a lot of material in here, so we're just gonna run it for a few minutes, fill up the gold pan, and then do the final, final, final one. 
Okay, so after cleaning the top mat and the two bottom mats, this is the gold we found. I thought for sure we'd find a little bit more, but hey, that's still not bad. Being that we lost only one piece of gold at the very end of the sluice, and we actually found zero gold in the bottom mat, I say it's pretty successful. The fact that we're holding 99.9% .9 of the gold in the material that we are running through the sluice is good. I have found a lot of nice gold along this river. Some places will be holding the gold and some places won't be and unfortunately that's prospecting. You hit some spots and then you won't hit others and you just got to keep looking till you find those good deposits. Now this spot where we were digging does have gold but it's not the amount of gold I would like to get. So if I'm going to use this high banker in the future I'm going to make sure I do a lot of panning and a lot of detecting to try to narrow in on a spot where it would be you know more beneficial than today. Now with that being said I don't think this is enough gold to weigh so I'm just gonna end the video right here If you enjoyed this video chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future I have a lot more content coming out especially as the water gets drier and the weather gets wetter And my beautiful merch store is about to be open again It's been down for over a year due to reasons But soon you'll be able to rock your favorite hoodies t-shirts and other stuff and even pass them along as gifts If you want to see anything else extra I do have other social media platforms available for your pleasure and even a patreon account where you can see some exclusive stuff and even early release videos Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support until the next one more high banking videos for you to enjoy